All right, well, we have something uh, a little new on the bench tonight. Um, I got this uh, digital watt slash SDR meter a little while back. What is this? A uh, nice, nicey? I don't really know. Uh, I think MFJ makes um, something like this as well. I'm not sure who rebrands them or who makes them initially. But I was just um, hooking up some stuff, and all of a sudden I noticed smoke emanating from within here and I wasn't sure if it was from within here at first or elsewhere but uh, then I definitely confirmed it was from within here and I think I had basically just an old CB hooked up to it not even transmitting it was on so um, not sure what went what went wrong with it um, so I figured we'll open it up and we'll take a look. I was actually powering it with this battery bank right here. So let's check the voltage on this to see if that may be a possible cause. 11.2, no, I wouldn't think so. It's uh, designed to run on 12 volts. I'm sure, I'm fairly sure 11.2 would not cause it to start to smoke. And uh, so I've taken most of the screws out. Let's just get another one here. Let's take a look inside and see if it's been destroyed. And these aren't cheap either. This was probably like $150. Kind of sprung for, for it because it's, it's both HF and UHF, VHF. So I think it's uh, 200, good for 200 watts. So I kind of thought, you know, this uh, this will be keep me tied me over for a while so um, hopefully it did not completely just fry itself I actually don't know if it works still um, so I'm gonna have to have a little bit of a look in here and see if we can see where the smoke was coming from it could be from one of these enclosed uh, cans here so we'll be right back Okay, well, yeah, I found the source, is a source of the smell. There's a uh, black wire in here that has gotten very hot um, and really uh, charred itself. Goes down to this board here. So... Yeah, I don't know what would cause that, but... Uh, so that was the source of the smell. You can see it's all melted here. And then you can see some... Uh, oh, you know what? I wonder if it shorted out. The wire may have rubbed against this and shorted out on it. I'm not sure. A little bit more investigation. And I'll be back. Alright, so I've separated a few more things. And it looks like it's a uh, direct power. It's... Uh, is uh, the, probably the ground wire, the black wire here is completely fried itself. Um, the question is why? <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna, it, it went into here, so let's check to see if we have a short circuit there. Let me turn the switch on. So no, we don't. So I wonder if it could have just somehow shorted itself out on an internal component. Because I wasn't using it or doing anything like that. Let me turn this on. When was it on? That was off, all right. So 800K there. Hmm. I might have just gotten lucky and uh, maybe the uh, wire just wore against uh, some of the metal enclosure and created a short, short circuit. That's the hope anyways, because we have, we don't have a short right here where the power goes into this board. So hopefully we just fried the wire. So. 
let's um, look into powering this up and see if we can power this face up uh, externally. All right, I think we have it all hooked up. We have um, ground as this left pin and as the center pin here and the uh, voltage rail uh, going to the back side of this diode. If I can probe it with my probe already attached. No? Okay, I just wasn't making good contact. All right. May have bypassed the switch, but let's plug this in. Current limited supply. Yeah, we bypassed the switch. So, uh, seems to work. So that's good, drawing 50 milliamps. That's about right for the screen. So it seems as though the board has not been damaged, which is at least to my knowledge, which is good. <laughs> so we could have just fried that wire. It may have shorted itself out on uh, some of the enclosure. Pretty odd. Um, so let's hope that's the case. We're gonna hook it back up and uh, you know give it a fresh cord and see if she works. So unfortunately, my saving of junk has not paid off. This is the damaged connector. And look, I have some other connectors, but none of them are a good match. So we're just gonna have to try to uh, repurpose these uh, internal connectors. That may not prove to be easy. We may have to route around this connector, unfortunately. But uh, I'll get back to you, see what we can do. All right, well, I was able to reuse the uh, metal part of the connector inside and found a fairly suitable wire. I only replaced the, the black one. Um, so now's the time to hook it back up and see if uh, it works or if the black wire melts again. But I think, I hope it was just shorting out on the internal chassis. Uh, right here. Um, that's the hope. Unless there's something internal. And we'll have to open this up. But um, hopefully that was the problem. Is there what? I don't, I don't think there was anything really with much power hooked up here. And there's definitely nothing uh, keyed, keyed up here. So uh, hopefully it's just something minor like that. I don't know if you own these. Uh, I've noticed that these insulators like to fall into the uh, connectors well maybe not fall so much as uh, I don't line them up perfectly and they get pushed in but you can pull them out like so all right testing to come BRB all right we're ready for a test uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, old CB radio here um, just uh, for the just because I can actually run it from my power supply here rather easily and we just have a, a dummy load hooked up here to the output uh, nothing nothing plugged in there Let's, uh, I'll plug this into a 12 volt adapter I don't think it has anything to do with a slightly low voltage but we can check that out too um, all right, we're going to need to increase the current available for this radio. Turn it on. Make sure we're on HF. Let's see if we get, I don't know, three and a half, four watts. 3.8, that's what it was measuring before, so that's good. Let's increase the voltage a little bit. 13 point, uh, yeah. Let's do 13.8, see if we get a good four, four and a half, five watts here. Look at that, five watts. So yeah, it seems like it's working. I'm guessing what happened 
is uh, just one of these wires just wore into this. Oddly enough, it was the ground. So very strange. I think it just, maybe the other one was worn into it. I don't know. Let's, you know what? Should I risk uh, trying my other power supply? Yeah, might as well. For science? Question mark? It's kind of low voltage, but I'm fairly sure this should run. So it does seem to be fixed. Seems like it still works at the slightly lower voltage. I think one of those wires just shorted against there. So if you see smoke coming from your uh, watt meter and it stops powering up, maybe you just burnt out a wire and didn't blow up the whole thing. So take a peek, see if that's the case. I hope, hope this helped. See you next one.